What's going on, everyone? Uh, Hardware Sports Collectibles here doing a. Uh, it's not a card box mail day, anything like that. Nothing related to sports. Uh, actually, my aunt sent this uh, from New York. Um, I used to live in New Jersey and used to uh, visit New York a lot. And she had a storage place over there while growing up where I kept all my. Uh, Comic books. I'm talking about like when I was growing up, like 11, 12 years old. I just kept on collecting comic books, and uh, well, accumulated. And she got married, and pretty much she had to find a place for them. So she told me that she's gonna start sending them box by box. So it's the first box. I don't remember. A lot of my uh, comic books. To be honest with you, I, I bought a lot, collected a lot. So let's go see what the heck this thing is on. Wow, oh, this is really heavy. Okay, that's that. Oh man. Oh wow. It's pretty, uh, pretty old. <laughs> In the 90s. We got the uh, X Men Phalanx Covenant Generation Ooh. Next Part 2. Then we got the uh, Part 1. That's pretty cool. I know the. Uh, the market for the uh, comic books hasn't really been that high, but yeah, you never know. This one, X Men first issue. Uh, yeah, this is not a reprint, it's actual first issue. I think this one has full page, I believe, on the back of it. It folds out. So, we got some uh, Star Wars, one of six. You guys can see that right there. Let's see if I can put that on. There you go, one of six. I forgot who drew this. There you go. Yeah, them bows. Uh, I think this is one of the parallel versions of the covers. Some of them are just flat, and this one is like a boast. Kind of popping out at you. And you got some of the Phalanx Covenant. This is part four. I'll try to actually, uh, I'll do that later. <laughs> And you got this one. It's one of those things that never really made it, but Dart. And uh, Joseph Schesberger or something like that. And I got another Finance Covenant. Uh, part three. And part two. This might more than one. This one's a nice one. Number one, uh, direct edition, saber tooth. This has a little cutout right here, like a die cut of the O. Got a little bit of whitening right there. That's how I got it. Right there. I remember buying it like this. I haven't even read this thing. This looks so cool. And you got the Spider Man 2009 25th, uh, I think, double size issue. So, more, more pages to read, I guess. Oh man, this is one of the sickest volumes. Carnage, right here. This is an actual volume. I did read this one time. You can tell, but it's really, really in really nice condition. <coughs> Cyber Force. This one I read a lot. <laughs> it's the first edition. You can tell by the spine. I read this quite a lot. Okay. Next up. Stormwatch, first edition. Mm. 
yeah, Primordials first edition. Okay. <laughs> now Gen 13. I guess this is the first or zero edition. I don't know how to start numbering this, but I remember it is. Pretty much like the X-Men, but in a different company. They'll have the powers in this one, X-Men. Oh. Uh, this is, I think, the other version for this. Yeah, there you go. Check this out. Connects. See? So this is like the I don't know what kind of it's like a different edition of it. Same exact comic really, but it's a different edition. It's like almost like a parallel comic, that's what it is. Like a parallel card, same exact thing, but somewhat different. And then this one right here, special X-Men anniversary issue. We got Gambit and uh what's her name? Uh, st not Storm. Uh, sorry, I forgot her name. There you go. Full page. Select edition. This one I, I barely read. I don't think they even remember reading that. Then you got Blood Strike. Number one, first edition. The only reason it got me interested in this is that this guy looks like Wolverine. But not. And then you got uh, Young Blood Yearbook First Edition, the first issue. I keep on saying edition. It's actually first issue. Then you got a uh, stupid. I guess it's like a they make fun of the like, different uh, characters. You can see. And you got first edition right there. First issue. Next up, Spawn. This is number nine. That's really nice. Okay. Next up, you got another one. Another X Men. Same exact one. And we have another one. And this one. Oh, this one's pretty sick. This one I know I did not read because it just looks so amazing. Superman, but uh, this, yeah, this is like a, a novel looking like book. It has embossed S. The S is like literally like embossed or popping out. I don't know if you guys can see that, right? This is uh, the wedding album. Yeah, this one is uh, in amazing condition. And you got more of the uh, part two Final Hanks or X Wars Finals. And then you got the Avengers. This one are red also. You can see better spine the look over there, but it's nice though. It's a different edition over here. This is also in bows popping out. And you got the I guess this is the parallel limited edition of the silver background. <clears throat> then you have Punisher, first issue. There you go, we got the uh, chrome background. That was pretty cool back in the days to have the chrome. <laughs> Generation X, Holiday Spectacular, Deluxe. There you go. Next up, we got this whole full body looking like a lady death. This is sickening. Lady Death and fully embossed, all in chrome silver. There you go. This is number one of six. If you guys can see it. Number one of six. November 1996. That time is $3.50. <laughs> Lady Death of Crucible. 
this is a pretty good condition, man. Wow. And I know I haven't even opened this thing just because looking at it. It's pretty cool. It looked collectible. That's why that's all I was, I was looking at. <coughs> the X-Men's were old. Oh, yeah, this one's nice, too. And I got Return of Superman Deluxe. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is still in its original original packaging. As you can see, this has like a white S package on it. And this one I kept. I bought two of these, I believe, and opened up one of them so I can read it. Yeah, this is sick. It's still in its original. Like You can see like Adventures, Superman, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's still in its original packaging. That's cool. Cool to have. Then you got the uh, Daredevil issue 297. The ty ty typhoid Mary. That's cool. Then you got Wolverine. Marvel Comics presents Wolverine. Look at that. So falling off the cliff. Badass. Next up, we got Wildcats issue number five. That's pretty cool. And you got the amazing Spider-Man or Web of Spider-Man Green. I know this is a limited one, but I read it because I love Spider-Man. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, there you go. 100 issue. There you go. Green Chrome. This is a very uh, limited issues those things and then you got the maximum carnage this is the very first one first issue this one I read only a little bit of this because there was a book the novel that I was, I was referring to earlier there was a book of that next up you got the kindred issue number four the things I like about this is that there's so much detail that goes into the drawing on this it's amazing. Next up, we got uh, Image Plus, Image I Plus, whatever this thing is. I don't think I ever read this, but anyway, first issue of this. Next up, Gen 13, first issue. Death Me. I forgot what issue this thing was. But Deathmate Black, and I guess I have different uh, parallels to this. This is the Black Border over here. Black, right, there you go. And then you got Deathmate Epilogue. You got the Silver, Chrome, Giant issue, version. Yeah, Solitaire, issue number one. First issue. Like, I don't think that one went anywhere, really. Profit, issue number four. And you got Zero. Beginning of Tomorrow. This is like a one of them sample comic books. I mean, it's a real comic book, but it's, comic, it's a real comic book, but it's a. Uh, one of them super thin ones that come either from a magazine like DC or um, what was it? Wizard Magazine or from a comic book. Oh, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ones. This is X Men Limited, uh, issue number one. This is a great series right here. This is a great storyline. This whole, whole thing. This one I didn't read as much. I read it, but. I really took care of this thing when I was reading it. Man, this is great. Next up, we got Wildcats, issue number 13. This look cool. It looked promising. This from Jim Lee. Legend. Issue number 12, Wildcats. Drawing Jim Lee again. Next up, we got X Men Phalanx Part 1. Uncanny. Next up, we got Black and White. 
issue one. And then you got, you got issue number one, Bongo Comics. Bongo Comics Group Bongo. Radioactive Man, back when the Simpsons were just super, super like popular. They still are, but but as you can see, I read this thing a lot. Uh, as you can see by the spine, it's not in very, very good condition. It's used, but it's still nice to have, though. Um, Radioactive Man, that's, that's the guy that Bart Simpson grew up reading, idolizing. And you got this one, 25th issue of the Sleepwalker Invasion Earth. This is pretty sick. This one I know I didn't read. I didn't read on because I wasn't, I was just attracted to the, uh, this. Anyway, there you go right there reflecting. Yeah. As a parallel, uh, or limited edition. Then we got the last one. Um, Punisher with the chrome, same exact thing. Uh, this one, I, I don't think, yeah, this one I didn't read. I didn't even open it all. This is the one I kept. It is Punisher, just badass. First issue. So that's it. I don't know if you guys collect uh, any of these, but um, let me know. Because I have a lot more in the garage. <laughs> Hit me up, man.